The world is making great progress in its fight against malaria. In the year 2000, over 900,000 people died as a result of the infectious disease. In 2020, that number was down to 620,000, a drop of a third in just 20 years. And if we account for population growth and economic development, we can see that in high-risk areas, the risk of dying as a result of malaria has gone down from about 30 in every 100,000 people, down to 15 today. This is why the world is a better place than ever. For the first time since the United Nations started publishing its Human Development Index, the global number has declined two years in a row, for 2020 and 2021. But it is easy to lose oneself and look only at the short-term development, and miss the long-term trends. For example, in 1990, 12.5 million children died before reaching the age of 5 in the world. That number for 2020 was down at 5 million, a drop of 60% in just 30 years. Children are also working less than they used to. In the year 2000, 16% of the world's children between the age of 5 and 17 were in the workforce. In 2020, that number was down at 9.6%. And the children working in hazardous environments has declined even faster, from 11% down to 4.7% in 2020. A decline of 60% in just 20 years. Fewer people are dying of smoking today than they used to. In the year 2000, the risk of dying of tobacco-related diseases was 141 for every 100,000 inhabitants, a number that is down to 95 today. And the trend holds true for all income groups globally. Plane crashes are basically a thing of the past. Around 1990, between 1,500 and 2,500 people died every year in plane crashes. In 2020, that was down between 300 and 1,000. And this development has taken place at the same time as the, as the number of air travelers has increased with more than 300%. In the year 2000, 21% of the world's population lacked access to basic toilets. That number has since then declined to 6.3%. And India has been especially successful when it comes to this, from 74% of its population lacking access in the year 2000, down to 15% in 2020. The world is also more illiterate than ever. In 1990, 24% of the world's population were illiterate. In 2016, that number was down to 13%. And we are also more connected than ever before. In the year 2000, only 6% of the world's population, here marked in white, had access to the internet. In 2010, that number was up at 28%, and in 2020, well above 60%. And the trend holds true for every region of the world. The global population growth rate has declined sharply in the last few decades. In the 1960s, it was well above 2% annually, indicating a doubling of its size in just 35 years. Since then, that number has decreased to 0.9%, and in just 50 or 60 years, we will go into population decline globally. In the 1970s, major oil spills of over 700 tons occurred 24 times. In the 2010s, it happened just twice. In terms of actual volume, it has decreased from 320,000 tons in the 1970s down to 16,000 tons in the 2010s. We can sometimes get successful protection of vulnerable species in place globally. In 1964, 80,000 whales were killed for food and research. Nowadays, after a sharp decline, it is down to around 1,000 or 2,000 whales every year. More and more nations are electing female heads of states and heads of government. In the year 2000, only five nations had a woman in their highest political office. Today, that number is well above 30. Vaccination programs are making a huge difference in people's lives. In 2005, over 11,000 children died in India between the age of 5 and 14 due to measles. In 2019, that was down to 600. And the same holds true for many communicable diseases, like tetanus, that has gone from 1,000 down to 160. Diphtheria, that has gone from 400 down to 20. And meningitis, that has gone from 10,000 down to 3,800. In 2001, 13% of the world's population lacked access to basic food security. That number has since then decreased to 9% in 2019.
And these 34 nations have more than halved their national share of undernourished during that same 20-year time period. You can find all the sources to the statistics in the description below. And you can find more videos on my channel visualizing the state of the world. Thank you so much for watching. Keep the